All right, CES, last day. North Hall, West Hall, that's all I've got left. Normally I'd be doing the South Halls, normally there'd be an extra day. There's not much left to see, but trust me, I'm still gonna run out of time, so let's get to it. All right, so you asked me to come back to the Hat B booth because you didn't believe this thing worked. You saw it around my neck, it turns out it also goes on the forehead, so it's a lot more stylish because, you know, I'm bald. Anyway, so the idea is, is that they have an app and the app has in it these, um, you call them ingredients? Yes. And the ingredients are basically the magnetic signals of the way these ingredients process in the body played back through the coil to your brain. And so they got specific ones. And when you buy it, you get a full two months, and then you can subscribe after that, or you just pick your favorite two and that's all you get. And they have one for caffeine, THC, CBD, nicotine, alcohol, uh, melatonin. So these are different things that are playing back and you wear them for like a few minutes to an hour. And um, I'm experimenting with caffeine right now. This is unusual. Let's, uh, I'm gonna give it a few minutes. So I'm here at the Anatomage booth and this is the Anatomage table. I know it's upright. I'll show you the table in a second. And it's really cool. It's got inside of it all sorts of, well, you can see what it is. And I can come over here and, uh, Oh, look at that, look at that. Now, they have all sorts of cadavers in here. They have, they do have the Visible Human, but I could have the Visible Korean project as well. So ultra high resolution stuff that you can touch. Let me go over to the table. So the table is obviously the same thing, it's just a different orientation, but it allows people to sort of stand around and walk around and really analyze what they're looking at here. The unit is $80,000 and it really is an all-in-one solution for doing sort of digital anatomy here. Really, really cool. I'm at the Sound Oasis booth, and what these people do is they do little sleep boxes. And they've been doing sleep boxes for a very, very long time. But what called me over was they're doing sound therapy for pets. And they have all sorts of pet-related, you know, white noise type things in here. So he's gonna turn the volume up a little bit for me. You know, with the humans, you can actually add in certain types of white noise and other signals. So he's gonna add uh, purring, if you've got cats. All right, take the purring away. And now he's gonna add heartbeats. This is awesome. I mean, the reality of it is, is if you have a pet, you probably realize that some sort of a sound system while they're sleeping is a very good thing. And they've just figured it out. So it's Sound Oasis and they have whole lines of products and they've got free apps and free sounds and really, really cool, Sound Oasis. So I was just leaving the Sound Oasis booth and it turns out he also is the Air Tamer booth. You're like, Air Tamer? Well, look at this. This is the Air Tamer A315 and this is $150 unit that you wear around your neck and believe it or not the lanyard is part of the technology and what it does is is it emits ions it ionizes the air around you so that all the particles drop basically to the ground and what it does is it eliminates 99 percent of airborne viruses around you in 20 minutes and this is not like a me too company they've been doing this since 2004 this isn't like COVID's here make something this is what they do for a living the battery is rechargeable on this and it lasts for 50 hours so pretty much you wear this all the time and it creates sort of an area around you that is just clean. Pretty awesome. Definitely something to look into. Oh, and they're on Amazon. You're not gonna believe this. I'm at the Massage Robotics booth. I have never seen anything like this before because I don't think anything like this exists. This is part one. let's say you're a dancer or just working out, you go to one of our routines and download it to your profile. Mm -hmm. You store that in the cloud. You can have 500 routines of your own in the cloud. Or you can make your own and just say, you know, I wanna work here, I wanna work with this tool, and I want it to do 30 minutes of random on my lower back, right, with this tool. Then I wanna turn over, and I'll, so you can build your own as well. They're gonna let me try it. Let's see me on the table. This is part two. Let's see me on the table. Uh, a teaching uh, video that you can walk through uh, on your profile. You can say, would you 
like to learn more about what the uh, 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 What cool is that? Wow, that was crazy. That was wild. I think I said wild like four times. That was absolutely insane. The potential of this is unbelievable. Literally, I can imagine 10, 20 years from now, literally going to see these machines in stores, in clinics. This is just crazy. I might literally be looking at the beginning of an entire industry right here. This is wild. I think I just said wild again, wild. So it looks like I'm like a pod person right now, but the lovely people at the Just Light Company have let me use what's called a sunflower because literally it is a red light and near infrared light sunflower that is used for therapy. And it's really cool because they have different modes, obviously for different parts of the body. And right now this is great because it's doing my neck. If you've never done any of the red or near, near infrared stuff, it really is good. It really gets deep into the muscles and increases circulation. This is like real science stuff. This isn't just pretty. Even though they made a really cute device, it is too cute uh, to be a real therapeutic device. Also the arm moves really well so you can sort of move it everywhere. And they can do things for the neck or the head or the brain, or you can move it to different body parts. But it's really cool. It's from Just Light. It's called a Sunflower. And it's only $500, which is about how much this type of equipment costs if you're gonna do therapeutic red light stuff. And my Hexel sells what looks like a sex toy, but it's not a sex toy, it's a sexual wellness device. Now in the, today's market, a lot of sexual wellness devices are sex toys, but this isn't. If you actually are looking for a, a masturbation machine, this is overpriced because this is a device for training and for medical intervention. So if you have premature ejaculation or if you need to increase your stamina, they've got an entire app and training program. Matter of fact, there are two different versions. There's the medical version and then there's the trainer. And that they are is their clinical devices because in this device are sensors. And we're talking about gyroscope, accelerometer, they're tracking features. This has nothing to do with your pleasure. It's about tracking how your performance is so you can build better stamina, build better technique, build better ever that you need so you actually can do what you wanna do in real sex. And that's what this is for. So this is actually, it looks like a sex toy, but it really is doing is it's tracking data so you understand how you're having sex so you can do it better. So now the funny story. As a member of the media, uh, I often receive samples in the mail. Their press company, who I did contact, because I contacted a lot of press companies, sent me one, but didn't tell me they were sending me one and my wife opened the box and thought I ordered a sex toy. And of course, it's not a sex toy, because it's not. I didn't order it, because I didn't. It's a therapeutic device for training and data purposes. Now, will I be um, reviewing it in a clinical setting? Probably not the way they expect me to. That being said, we may actually plug it in and try to see what the sensors do, because I'm fascinated by that. And again, we need to normalize these things. This is nothing salacious. There's nothing sex about this. This is literally just, if this is my heart and it was an EKG, you wouldn't say anything either. About, oh my God, you're giving me heart data. Let's, let's not get all silly about this. It is what it is. And if you do have a medical condition or you do need to improve your performance, there's nothing wrong with using technology to do that. I'm at the CMI Health booth. And last time I actually saw this, it was the um, Oxy Night Watch, which is basically a uh, pulse ox watch that you wear when you sleep, which is great because if you have uh, apnea and you're not breathing, the best way to know you're not breathing is literally your pulse ox drops. And it was kind of a cool device, but now with COVID, like pulse ox is everything. So all of a sudden it's a good time to be in the pulse ox business. But matter of fact, I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, it's like, it's a, we know how critical it is of a number and then being able to monitor it constantly at home is amazing. They also have something called Asthma Go, which measures your lung functioning as well. And again, these are portable, devices that are meant for you to use to track your own sort of well-being you send your results back to your doctor and this is how much 150 this is 150 and this is 250 250 and available on amazon pretty cool stuff it's by cmi health i'm at the relief band booth and i've been talking about relief band for years i'm a user of relief band i believe in relief band it is literally an fda approved device that counteracts 
nausea and it works. This is not like some fake thing. This actually works as a treatment for nausea because the little electrodes that go on your wrist and what ends up happening is, is the pulses come and it puts your stomach in sync with it. And it, it literally, whether it's motion sickness from planes or boats or cars or VR or chemo or pregnancy, all these things are doing it. Now they've got these great devices. They've had them for years and they're rechargeable. But the coolest thing is the new device they have is actually waterproof. You can wear it underwater, but there's something even cooler about it, which I'm gonna show you. This is where it normally sits on your wrist and that's where it is. But look, turn it over. It's a band for a smartwatch. That's right, so you don't have to wear two devices. You can put it all together in one device. Also, if you care, it's nickel free. So awesome from Relief Band. So this is the Handy by Sweetech. And I wanna tell you that this device, it's just a very cool synchronized high speed and high pressure device that you would use with your accessory. Now, what do we mean by accessory? Well, if you've ever churned butter, you'll know that if you use your hand, it takes a long period of time. But if you wanna actually have a motorized butter churner, this will actually attach to whatever butter churning device you've got and allow you to connect it with your Bluetooth phone and pre-program the exact sort of uh, rhythm and speed and intensity that you would want for churning butter. Let's just call it turning butter for a moment. Anyway, it's called the Handy. It's $170. And again, this is just a motorized attachment for whatever device you currently use. We try to normalize sexual wellness on this channel. At the same time, we still don't like to use the M word. This video is going to be in two parts. This is part one. The Handy people have a demo and the demo is not uh, a sex demo at all. In the demo, I'm wearing a head-mounted display and I'm sitting in a chair and I can see my well-clothed jeans and they put a massager, one of those, like, one of these massagers, you've seen them before, they put the massager uh, and they have somebody walk up and go, let me use this massager on your knee and they do the massager on your knee and it's perfectly in synchronized with the massager that's on my knee and I'm looking at someone else's leg and I'm watching somebody, it was like literally someone was touching me because it wasn't just that somebody, I was feeling the sensation, it was like someone was touching me and it was crazy. And again, just the knee. The idea of this interactive haptic synchronization is astounding. This is part two and uh, you'll get to see in this part what was going on in my knee. What you don't get to see is that literally I was somebody else and somebody was actually using um, this device on my leg and it felt like the VR video was doing it crazy. Holy shit. looking at someone else's leg and I'm watching somebody, it was like literally someone was touching me because it wasn't just that somebody, I was feeling the sensation, it was like someone was touching me and it was crazy. I have four hours left at CES and I've just completed the North Hall. I'm gonna go over to the West Hall and see what they have over there. Well, one more Tesla tunnel later, I made it to the West Hall. But the West Hall is car tech and I hate car tech. So not gonna be a lot of videos in here. I literally just did all of West Hall and there was nothing to film in here for me. Nothing that even even was filmed for you in here. It was like nothing. So there you go. West Hall is done. Well, I can't end the show on sex toys. So back to Central Hall. So LG pulled out of CES this year and they've taken their booth space and created this extremely primitive but really cool augmented reality experience of their previous exhibit booths. And it's a very clever way of showing off their technology and their space without actually um, being here. So the post office has a booth and they've got a video game and it looks kind of fun. They also give out bags, which I really appreciate.
This is the GTR simulator. It's really three components. Well, it's really two components. One component is the motion simulator, you know, chassis. And the other is the force feedback steering wheel with the pedals. Steering wheel and pedal combination is $600. The rest of it is $3,500. And together, it is a real gaming experience. So this is the cool so, which means cool hand. And what it is, it is a controller, but it works off of muscle motions. And a lot of them do electrical, but this one is muscle, which means it's waterproof, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's really neat. They're business to business. So they're really looking for business customers not like you're gonna go out and buy one of these but uh i might i might buy an sdk i come over here and i tap my fingers you didn't grab it <laughs> yeah uh, tap my fingers no uh, tap my fingers tap yes got it i got my finger and then i grab it yes and put it up grab it there we yes. go so i have it and yes. then if i spread spread it if i tap yes. it i let it go uh, tap it uh -huh. gently yeah. And if I go like this, it's everything is, yes. and I do this, it goes like this, and wow. And then snap reorients me. insane i feel like i just crashed a plane uh, you it, just did crash a plane it, this is amazing i want one of these so bad and i will get one i will get one thank you so much wow that was the yaw 2 from yaw vr the yaw motion simulator company i love this thing i'm at the may booth and they have the vrx driving simulator well just watch me get sick You know what? The show's almost over, but I'm at the foot troller booth, which is one of the first things I saw, but they had a huge line, but I finally got in. And what they sell are flip-flops. No, what they sell are these foot controllers. And what's really neat about them is, is that the data they get out is pretty cool. It actually is, and by the way, it, it comes with two. Uh, it is a real product. You can buy it on Amazon right now, but let me show you what it looks like on the other side. So if you look over here, I can look and see what ang that, that my foot is going up and down and up and down. So I've got that. And I also can see that which angle my foot's at. And then there's actually two different buttons in the front and in the back. And all of those can be transmitted to any gaming system that you want. You can actually integrate for yourself. $100 is not a bad price for a really fun, unique controller that allows you to really think differently about how you're playing your game and how you're designing your game too. So I'm standing at the Somalytics booth and I thought I was done, but I'm not. They sell sensors made out of paper, which is like crazy because there's like nanotubes. It's a sensor, it's a proximity sensor made out of paper. What they can do with this is amazing because first of all, the applications are endless. So the B2B applications for what can you do with a sensor that is the thickness of paper that can detect skin this is crazy, but they have a cute little demo that I want to show right off the bat. Let me turn the phone around. See that? Watch this.
You don't even see the light bulb. The light bulb's behind it, but my finger didn't even touch it. Went right over it, trigger, beautiful. And it's really amazing. Inside of that is just a paper thin, and not just paper thin, it's made of paper sensor. It's by Somalytics. They are a brand new company, and they have so many other little things that are based on this. It's crazy. Name to look out for. So you're not gonna get to hear what I'm hearing right now. Of course, it's impossible for you to hear what I'm hearing right now, but I'm currently standing next to and previously was listening to the Novetto N1 beamed audio speaker system. This is awesome. It literally is a binaural speaker system that's being beamed to the ears. So it's stereo surround sound. And the best part is, is that it's for one and there's facial tracking is a 40 degree arc for me to move around in it. It is really impressive. It's not out yet. It's gonna be $800. These types of beam technologies are always really, really expensive. But the reality of it is, is that outside of that cone, you can barely hear anything. So it's full volume in the cone and sort of almost like a whisper or outside of the cone that's really, really different. So it's Novetto. I may have shown this to you a few years ago. It was like built into a modder in a very loud env environment. It's a cool Israeli company. Anyway, can't wait for it to come out. And like that, CES 2022 is over. Please be sure to like, subscribe, follow both here and on YouTube. That's Jared X2. Thanks for watching these videos and I will see you for CES 2023, we hope. Anyway, thanks for watching.